Hey, what's up guys? This is my uh, attempt at doing a guitar lesson for Carolina. Uh, over the years I've gotten some messages and comments asking me how to play the picking pattern in this song, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, quick disclaimer, I am not a guitar teacher, and I'm bad at trying to show people things on the guitar. I've had friends over the years ask me uh, how to play certain songs, and I'm impatient, and I'm not a good teacher. I'm also too lazy to type the tab out for this song, so uh, if anyone else wants to make the tab, feel free. I'm just going to try to slow it down and show you what I'm doing. Uh, for Carolina, we have the capo on the 5th fret, and it's in the key of C, and we're playing the chords in the shape of G. Uh, for the uh, intro, the slow part, it's just a... Um, we're on the 3rd fret on the E string and the B string. So on the B string we're going 3rd, 1st, open, relative to the capo. Then on the G string, so that's, on the G that's open, 2nd fret, open on the B, 2nd fret again on the G, and then open. So that is... Then when we move into the fa uh, faster part, we have... It's just going back and forth between the 3rd uh, fret on the E string and open on the G. Both the same note, just a different octave. Okay, so that part slowed down is the the first three notes are the same as the slow part in the intro. It's just and all of that is pull-offs. So you're only picking once. Your thumb and your index finger at the same time are picking the E and the B string. And then you're gonna pull off on the B string to the first fret and then open. You might want to practice doing that double pull off, getting that part down. After that, we move on to the G string, and that's open, hammer on, and then open B string. So that put together is. So, so far what we have is, from there, we still have the 2nd fret pressed down on the G string. We're going to pull that off, so pick it once again. When we pull off on the G from the 2nd fret to open, we're Right after that, I'm going to pick the string open again. Dun -dun -dun. From there, we're going to the D string. Uh, open, hammer on 2nd fret, then open G string. Now, as far as the picking pattern goes, I'm not uh, constantly hitting the um, the E string with my thumb. It's only every so often. So, Now in between, when I'm just going to the, then I'm bouncing back and forth between my thumb and index finger. But while I'm picking, it's only three times.
Okay, so after the we have all that is is on the D string we're hammering on from open to the second fret and then picking the open G string. Then we're doing the reverse of that, two pulling off to zero. Same thing again on the A string. Okay, so now I'm gonna show my left hand the full thing slowed down. Focus on the right hand. Might would help if I did it the same way every time. So that is that intro part. I think that that part is a fun way to trick people into thinking that you're better at guitar than you are because it sounds like a lot of notes going on at the same time, but it's really only a few uh, motions with both hands. As for the singing parts, it's um, you're alternating between the E string on the third fret, so playing that C chord, and then just open B and, I mean open G and open B. The only thing changing up here, you're going from G relative to the capo, G, C, D, and I'm doing the slide up uh, it's the, sh the same shape as the C, but I'm sliding up two frets to play the D here rather than this D. Uh, and this picking pattern stays the same. Then for the uh, pre-chorus, we switch to an E minor, C, G. In my bones, I feel alone. The hammer on there is just kind of random. I'm not sure if you even listen back to the original version, if it stays consistent how, of how often I'm doing them. So all the verses are the same. Take me home. Caroline, I miss you in my bones. Caroline, I miss you in my bones. I feel alone. In my bones, I feel alone. In between uh, the verses, we just repeat the picking pattern from the intro a few times. Verse 2 is the same as verse 1. Then there's a little instrumental bridge part. All it is is G, A, but the only uh, note we're holding down is the second fret on the D string. Similar, we're doing the B to C. You could play that whole part with just one finger. That's the bridge. 
and we repeat the first verse again, singing, play the riff again, and then the very end, it just goes from the riff, you just gradually play it slower to go into the outro. And this is the first time that we're kind of full on strumming chords, we're not doing a uh, picking pattern anymore. much it. I hope this helps. This was a very bad lesson. I'm not providing you any tabs. I don't know how to read music. I'm not providing you any sheet music, but I hope I slowed it down enough and explained what I'm doing. Uh, also, the studio track may sound confusing because there's probably some mistakes in it. So uh, thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Paper Guitar Lessons. We'll see you next time.